This is the best crypto portfolio tracker in 2024, and you can use it to super easily do all of your crypto taxes in just a few clicks. So today in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how it works, how you can use it as a portfolio tracker that's real time and completely free. It is by far what I've seen the best tracker on the internet. And it also does all of your crypto taxes way better than every other site I've used. I've used Coin Tracker, I've used Coinly, I've used all the top crypto taxes sites. And I gotta say that this one is much better for labeling the transactions and actually figuring out what you owe on your taxes. And best yet, I actually partnered with this site to get you guys $25 off any tax plan you purchase for this year or even for next year. So if you wanna get $25 off any plan you purchase, go to tax.mattscrypto.com and that will allow you to get the $25 off discount. This is the portfolio tracker dashboard. You can see right here, I have 5,000. $862. And as I'm talking, this number is going to change in real time to reflect the actual value of my portfolio. We'll update it so that it has more of a comprehensive look in a little bit, but this is Awaken Tax. This is the software that I've been using for the last year. It is, again, by far the absolute best one that I've used so far. And I've used quite a few different crypto portfolio trackers and tax software because Crypto taxes are a total pain in the butt. So if you know how much of a pain it is, this is gonna make your life a lot easier, trust me. We'll go through it one by one. This is the portfolio here first. You can see I have some Blast in my account, some ETH. It lists all the assets I have under coins. But if we wanted to add more coins here, if you wanted to add all of our accounts, right now I only have one wallet. So if I wanted to add a new account, I click add new account here, and you can see that they have every major exchange, every major coin, every major wallet you could potentially want to add. So what we'll do is we'll go over and add one of my Ethereum wallets by clicking connect. We're gonna enter the name here, and that is going to just be ETH wallet one, is what we'll put it down as. We'll paste in the wallet address, and then we can actually pick a little icon for it. We will use the little devil face because I do think Ethereum is gonna cook later this year and into next year, but we'll see how that goes. And then if you have over 10,000 transactions, you wanna click this little checkbox right here to label that it has a lot of transactions because these will take longer. Obviously 10,000 transactions is a lot. This wallet doesn't have that many, so we're gonna click add account. And you can see right here, it may take a while, Usually this doesn't take that long. You can see it's gonna go through all of the different chains too. So you don't need to add every L2. You don't need to add all these different blockchains, layer twos, um, EVM compatible wallets. It's going to actually go through all of the different L2s and EVM compatible things you have on this wallet. You can see right here it's saying sync and you can see the number of transactions is going up as it syncs all those new transactions. Now if we go back to the portfolio, you can already see it's updated. It's already at $9,000 because it's already loading in all of those new transactions and the coin balances on the wallet we just added. Now, every once in a while, if you want to, you can click refresh balances here, and that's gonna go ahead and refresh your entire portfolio so that any new coins you've gotten in your wallet since you updated this last, it will automatically populate those and make sure it's up to date. But as you can see here, this price continues to change because it is tracking all of these coin balances and their respective prices in real time. So if you ever wanted to get a overlook on how much crypto you had pop in after a week of vacation, you can go onto this page after you've loaded in all of your different accounts right here, click on the portfolio tab, and you're going to see exactly how much value you have in your portfolio at any given moment, which is completely free to use. So if you use this for nothing else, definitely check this out and use it as a portfolio tracker because again, it's by far the best one I've seen. Now they also have NFTs and they also have DeFi. DeFi will automatically load any coins you have in protocols that are not on your main wallet. So under coins here, you can see I have Blast, 307,000 Blast in my main wallet. But under DeFi, it's actually gonna show you all the other things I have on different L2s that are staked on protocols. So you can see Portal Gaming, I have 1800 Portal staked right now. And that $430 worth of Portal is not gonna show up in my wallet because it's not technically in my wallet. But it does show up here under DeFi. So it is also incredibly good at figuring out which coins you have in which protocols that are under smart contracts or under staking protocols or locked positions like this you can see right here or have been deposited on different uh, platforms like YOLO or on Juice. 
And these are all on L2s, by the way. So it is really, really good at figuring out where your money is. Even if you forgot where you put some things, this will find it very well just by plopping in your wallet address. It's gonna find out everything you need to know on different platforms, on different protocols, smart contracts, L2s, whatever it is, it will find it and it will calculate it and add it to your total balance. Now under the NFT section here, you can see all the different NFTs you hold. I don't hold very many NFTs in these particular wallets, so we're not gonna see a ton of those here. And I will say that sometimes the floor prices for the NFTs is not perfectly accurate. And that's because some of these NFTs are actually not liquid anymore. They don't have any buys or sells. So just because the floor price is listed at two ETH doesn't mean someone's gonna buy it for two ETH. And so for that reason, I don't really love to use this for NFTs, but it does show you which ones you have. And if you wanted to go and quickly see what they're actually worth, what they're actually selling for. You can do that very quickly all from right here. It's just gonna be a very good overview of what you have in that wallet. Now, let's say I wanted to go over here and add a Solana wallet. We can click connect. We're gonna enter Soul Wallet 1. We'll paste the wallet address and you can see if you wanna include staking reward transactions. So if you have Solana staked on a validator, it will actually notice that and check that off and add it to your balance. We're gonna click add account here and you're gonna see it's gonna go ahead and start immediately syncing that new wallet. And again, this one's gonna find all the different things you have that are related to this Solana wallet. Even if they are part of DeFi protocols, it will find it. So you can see right here it says syncing, but if we go to portfolio, usually this pops up within 20 to 30 seconds. Unless you have a ton of transactions, and I mean like 5,000 plus transactions, it will usually find your balances very quickly and add them to your portfolio almost instantly. You can see right there, it's already done. You can see right here, it shows that I have 10.39 Jepsol, which is worth about $1,000 right now and that increased our balance to 10,000. So you can see right here, we're now seeing all three of these different accounts we have, all three different wallets. Two of them are EVM wallets, one of them is a Solana wallet, and they are all compiled into one beautiful and easy to understand asset list. It has the asset list here, the total value, and then you can see the 24 hour return. So you can see obviously today's been a bit of a red day. We've lost $600 in this portfolio so far off of all of the coins we hold. And there are a lot of different little coins in here. So to be honest with you, I don't even know I had some of these coins in my wallet, like this one, I didn't even know I had this or this coin, uh, NBL, I have no idea what these coins are that are showing up in my wallet that I didn't even know were there, but show up very easily and easily to see on the portfolio tracking on the Awaken website. Now you can also add things that are not wallets. You could also add your Coinbase account. You can click connect right here, and then it's gonna allow you to sign in on Coinbase and actually connect your Coinbase account to your Awaken tax account, and it will automatically track all the things you have in Coinbase. So you can also do that with other centralized exchanges like Binance or with Gemini or Crypto.com or Kraken. So any centralized exchange that you use, you can also track very easily right here by clicking connect and just signing into your account. And Awaken tax will not actually have any permissions on your centralized exchange account. It will only have read permissions so they can see what you have in your accounts, but not actually have access to do anything with your accounts. So what I recommend doing is adding all of the different wallets or centralized exchanges that you have on here. And then once they all load in, they will all be easily tracked in one spot on your portfolio. that You can access from any web browser at any time and immediately see your real time value. Now for me, the most impressive part of awaken.tax is this transaction and taxes section. Although the crypto portfolio tracker is amazing, it is a pain in the butt to do crypto taxes. If you have a lot of transactions like I do, it is royal nightmare. It's horrible. It's very difficult to do, very difficult to keep track of, but this site does an unbelievably good job of helping you do that. You can see right here, it will go and label all the transactions across all the wallets you added to your account and it will show you whether they've been reviewed, where they know what's already happened in the transaction, or if you need to review it yourself to clarify what the transaction's all about so that they can classify it for taxes properly. You can also see right here, it'll show you immediately. I haven't touched anything. This is a brand new account. I've loaded in the wallets that you saw before, and this is what it's showing me. We have 14 high priority transactions that it does not know what they are about. You can see it's already labeled 515. So it's already labeled 98% of the transactions for me, 
And if you go through and actually look at these ones that are already reviewed, they are usually spot on accurate. But this one right here, we can go into, this was a completed transaction. It shows you the actual transaction. It shows you the date. You can go and open it up on the Binance Smart Chain scan to see the actual transaction details there. You can open it in the timeline, which is really just this page right here, which we already looked at. You can see all the different ledger entries. So it shows you all the different wallets, where it pulled these from and what actually was debited and credited from this transaction. So as you can see right down here, token approval, it already knows that it was a token approval. We just paid gas and Awaken Tax is really, really good at identifying certain transactions because it's seen millions of those types of transactions before. Now, some of these where it doesn't know, we can go to this one right here, trade, unreviewed. We're gonna click on this one and it wants us to review it to make sure this is correct. We sent 834 USDT and we received 1.639 BNB. So roughly, you can see right here, the purchase price was roughly the sell price, so that's about correct. Now, what it wants us to do is label this transaction. We can label on all different types of things, and this is the best part of this site, in my opinion. It really has every single classification for what you can do in crypto, where other sites just don't have that, and they don't give you the flexibility to change the transaction type like Awaken Tax does. So we can go and see under trading, you can see it's a coin swap with an exchange. You can see NFT swaps. You can see payments received, gift, donation, payments. You can see perpetuals. We have staking and liquidity providing. You have all different kinds of things. Reclaiming rewards, staking swap, staking deposit. And when you go and scroll over, you can see right here, it shows you what the correct and incorrect version of this is. So if you didn't understand what a staking deposit was all about, you can see that it explains, you deposited a token into a protocol and did not get a token in return. This can also be used for adding liquidity and it shows some examples of this. You can see that we sent some stable coins and we received Aura assets. That would be considered correct for staking deposit. But the incorrect would be if you stake tokens to a staking pool and received a stake token back. So you can see right here, if we sent OM assets and received staking OM back, that this would not be qualified for a staking deposit. So for this transaction, what we did here is we swapped, right? We sent USDT and we received BNB and this happened on PancakeSwap. I know this because I did this literally yesterday. So we're gonna go and select label and we're gonna find the one that makes most sense. You can see there's also loans over here. There's also transfers for bridging. There's income from mining income. The ones I showed you earlier that I had no idea about those small coins, that one can be considered spam. You can also see there's other ones, non-taxable, safer later to figure it out later on. But this one is pretty safe, straightforward. This one is a swap on a DEX. So let's find trading. This would be either coin buy, coin sell, no. It would be coin swap. We exchanged one coin for another. In this case, we did USDT for BNB. So this is the one that's correct here. We're gonna click save changes. And after that, it will save as reviewed. And it's actually gonna go, and you can see here, three other transactions were already automatically reviewed because it now knows that this was in fact a trade. It was a swap on PancakeSwap. And then it automatically reviewed the other ones and validated those as well. So now we can see we only have 13 left to do and we have a 519 that were already completed for us. So if we click on label high priority transactions, you can see these ones are the red ones. So what we can do here, this is a good one right here. This is a little bit different than your average swap. This one is unreviewed and it's high priority. I actually went and staked my Pixelmon to earn some Mon protocol tokens. So this sell price might be wrong, please fix it here. It really, really tells you exactly what it wants to know, what it thinks is wrong, and most of the time, from my experience, it has been flawlessly accurate. It's so much better than other sites, I cannot explain to you. You will not understand it until you try it yourself. It's just so much better, it's so much more accurate at labeling transactions, and much easier to use than other sites, so you know that you're getting your taxes done properly. So in this case, we wanna go and collect the label here. This one is staking deposit. And you can actually see it even thinks it knows which one it is. This might be it. And guess what? This is it because we did stake this asset. 
It's an NFT in this case, but we didn't receive anything in return. We didn't receive tokens. We didn't receive staked assets. We just staked the NFT. So in this case, we're gonna click staking deposit and we're gonna go and save changes. And it will now label this as a staking deposit where we didn't receive any tokens in return. And you can now see that that one is reviewed and good to go. So you can go through all these. We'll even do one more and we'll say send 1000 blast here. We can click select label and it knows, it just knows, even though it doesn't 100% have the guaranteed answer. That's why it prompts you to make sure you review it and make sure it's correct. But it is a wallet transfer. I transferred 1 million blast tokens from one of my wallets to another one of my wallets. So we could go in here and we will select this one because we did transfer from one of our wallets to another wallet. Now, the reason it didn't automatically know this, even though it was spot on accurate and it grays out all these other ones because it knows they're not correct. We don't have that wallet that I sent it to connected to our account here. That's why it didn't know. So that's why it's really important for you for you to connect all of your wallets, all of your exchanges, everything you've used onto Awaken Tax. That way it can reconcile all the different locations and all the different coins you had. So it knows when I sent this million blast to another wallet that that's my wallet and I actually own that wallet. So it could see the receiving transaction on that wallet if I put that under my accounts. So we're gonna save changes here and that one's done as well. Now, if you had connected your wallet here under accounts, it would have already known that and it wouldn't even prompt you to figure that out because it would have already known that it was correct. So that is how you use the transactions section. It is, again, in my opinion, so unbelievably easy. You can go back at the end of the year, go through your 10, 20, 30 transactions that it doesn't know about if there are even that many, and then you're done. Once you finish that, all you need to do is come over to the taxes section. So for 2023, you can see right here, our capital gains taxes were $437 gain in the short term and two cents in the long term. Now for 2024, it's not completed on the year yet, but once that's completed, we can go ahead and do the 2024 forms as well, or we could even do year to date for 2024. But in order to get access to our tax reports, so capital gains, TurboTax, Form 8949, 1099s, summary year to date reports, any of these forms that you want, you can just click generate. And depending on how many transactions you have, that's how much you'll have to pay. So if you have up to 25 transactions, guess what? Congratulations. You can do your all your tax forms on here completely free. If you have more than 25 transactions, which most people will, I personally had like 3,000 transactions this year so far, maybe 4,000. So I'm gonna have to pay for basically the unlimited by the time this year ends. But in my case, because I have so many transactions, buying one of these for 200 bucks or 300 bucks is gonna save me literally a week worth of time in what it would take me to do this manually. I cannot stress enough how much easier it is to use this platform. And as I said earlier, if you go to tax.matscrypto.com, you're gonna get $25 off any of these plans. So make sure you use that link because it's literally $25 for free that you could get off of any of these plans. So for example, if you had 100 transactions, you would get this plan for $50 by using my tax.matscrypto.com referral link down below instead of the 75. And they also have a promo right now that if you've used anything else like Coinly, Crypto Tax Calculator, Coin Tracker, and you are a first time user for Awaken, you can get an additional $75 off. I cannot even explain to you how much time and stress you're gonna save from using this site. I just, I can't. You will only find out once you do it, and then you can go and thank me in the comments because I promise you it's gonna save you a lot of stress. Now, let's say I wanted to see what my taxes are looking like so far for 2024. Even though the year is not over yet, it's gonna go over here and calculate you can see I have $325 of short-term capital gains for 2024. You can actually see it shows you a breakdown of interest income, rewards income, mining income, other income, expenses, blah, 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 blah. And you can see all these transactions once you create an account. Again, go to tax.matchcrypto.com to get that $25 off any plan you use. Okay, that's pretty much all there is to it. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below letting me know. This is, again, the best site I've used by far. If you've used Coinly, which I have, if you've used Coin Tracker, which I have, this is better, I promise you, and I'm getting you guys $25 off any plan you want for this year's taxes or next year's taxes. And at the very least, you can use it as a free real-time crypto portfolio tracker if you want to, which is what I've done for the last year or so. And it's done quite well in that endeavor. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe for more, and we'll see you guys all next time. Take care.